cup. Ice. Been a long day. Time for a Long Island iced tea. Ugh. Nothing tastes better than mechanical precision. <laughs> You're not advertising cigars, you know. It's terrible, isn't it? Let's start from the beginning. I built this CNC lathe. Built a lot of them. Stepper motor based, spindle feedback. You know what? Let me start over. I was testing a lathe one day, and I was looking at the cross slide, and I said to myself, hey, why don't I put a cup on it? And I thought, what if I automate drink making as well? This is intolerably slow. But it'll definitely have to go faster than this. Montage time. It starts out with a simple concept. Usually a dryer's board. This is the cup holder platform. That's me manufacturing. This is a drink holder module plate made of ABS plastic, about a half inch thick. As you can see, it's not really cutting the plastic, it's just more melting it. Mach 3 interface. Circle. This is for the car door lock actuators. This is sort of a bracket. I'm cutting it out of Delrin. And it's really odd if you look at it, Delrin makes these chips as opposed to just like ABS plastic where it's melting off in strips or whatever. I think it actually looks kind of grody. I took a picture at the end here. And that's what it looks like after you're done with one. This is the full drinkmatizer setup and this is it in its as I'm building it. Looking fresh. These are the chaser bottle adapters. Right here I'm going to show how one is made. From the raw aluminum, this is done on a manual lathe. From raw aluminum, precision is key. Always measure, measure twice, cut once. For all those who wonder what exactly is a lathe, this is a lathe right here. What I'm using right there is a parting tool, often used to cut o-ring glands, that's what that is right there, two o-ring glands. Anyways, that's a finished part cut off. Wait, no. Right here I'm drilling the holes for the air fittings. Implication is much. This is a finished 
chaser bottle adapter. To make sure that the chaser bottle adapter stays in the bottle, I needed to modify the cap of a 2 liter. So I took the cap, I screwed onto um, screwed onto the cap there. What I'm doing right here is cutting a hole through the top so I can put them on top of the chaser bottle adapters. So here, let's take a look at what it looks like. You put it in, screw the cap down, and you're ready to go. So when you add pressure to it, this is what happens. These are the solenoid valves adapted to a plate. Attach to the top of the drink mill, then you place the cords in there. Here's a demonstration of all four bottles draining at once. So the pressure from the CO2 tank is providing about 10 PSI, and we're able to pump water from those four into the cup. We're pulling about 11 Four. amps at 5 volts. So here's what it looks like inside, so we're draining the water out. More pressure, faster it goes. Again, more time. Here's how a bottle is put into the drink mount. You place the drink module in, push it down real hard. Make sure that ring is on there. That ring is key to holding down the bottle, keep it steady. Place it in. Make sure the ring fits on the screws. Put the nuts on the bolt. Both of them, of course. Then just place the actuating rod into the holder, as you can see there, from the back, the back of the bottom modules. Chaser bottles, air system, the drink motizer menu. Now behold, the drink motizer in its entirety. Looking pretty sweet. End of the montage. How this works is you place bottle modules across the system. As many as you want, you can have up to, I could put up to 16 here if I wanted to. Here's the back side of the bottle modules. These are car door actuators. So these are generic car door lock actuators. Thanks, Amazon. When they're actuated, they pull back on the drink module handles and deliver one shot. Hey, tiny mouse or giant hand? <laughs> This is what the Raspberry Pi is going to send the Arduino. It's a string of commands that tells it what to do.
Joe. <laughs> My man. Jesus. Oh my god, it's all booze. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Alright. It, but it tastes like a Long Island. Oh, does it? God, it's a little cheesy. So I want to I want to redo all these modules. I want I want them smaller, compact. I want them quick. What's what's what I'm looking for? Quick. Um, I want to hot swap the bottom module. You want to change my clips from your gun? You look like pop. pop yeah, like because you drink a lot, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh huh. So where was I? You drink a lot, so you need this ability to just change bottles like clips, like Bruce Willis and Die Hard, just like popping clips, changing them out like that, you know? Yeah. And I know you like to make a joke like, oh, we need one bottle, Johnny Walker. We all know you. We need all those bottles, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Long Island's with every clip. That's right. Dave, if, 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 oh. if, if you don't have something like this, Who's gonna make you your first Long Island Island iced tea of the day to have with your breakfast steak? <laughs> <laughs> your breakfast steak, the most important steak of the day? Yeah. <laughs>